Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm on the the other one of the two islands here. This is where I usually meditate over there. And yeah, I think I am going to call this Grassy Island. Because look at all the grass here. Isn't that pretty? This little grassy spot. I wouldn't want to lay down in the grass there, but <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the high tide comes up to ride probably right there where the grass starts growing. Because if that was underwater, it probably wouldn't grow very well. Yeah, unless it was eel grass. But yeah, I'm on, well, the third island of the day, and well, let's see, I'm already finding some trash. There's trash everywhere, man, just, this planet's just littered. Looks like a coffee jar. <laughs> I have to come clean this up, too. I have no problem cleaning up these islands. They're sacred to me, so of course, of course I'm going to clean them up. I have to bring a bunch of trash bags down. Actually, already, uh, I called my mother earlier before I left and I asked her to bring in some trash bags. So maybe I'll use one or two of those and bring them down here and fill them up and haul it all out with me. Just like I do when I'm hiking the trails. So, yeah. It's starting to clear up a little bit. It's still raining just a little few drops there, you can see. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you, Great Spirit. Chuck say on my relations. Oh, yes. Ah. Look at that, that's a cool rock. See the color? It's like ochre. Nice ochre color, eh? Beautiful. It's gonna leave that there. And of course the bullet shell. Holy crap, that's a full one! <laughs> see that? Never been used. You can see all the little balls inside? I'm gonna stick that in a safe place. Don't need none of that stuff going off in my pocket. Jeez. Yeah. That's cool, I found a full 12 gauge round. I wouldn't want to put that in a gun though. I'll just uh, take some plastic and uh, open it up and dump the dump the gunpowder out of it. And just disarm it, you know. Oh cool, look at the rock! See that, it's all purple. That's really cool man, I like that. Yeah, purple man. See that? Nice bedrock. That's sandstone, I think. Sandstone or granite, some kind. Yeah, really cool out here. This is a nice island. Well, they're all nice in their own way. They all have their own unique features. Oh, yeah, check it out! I could picture a face on this rock. Check it out! I'm not going to spray paint it or nothing, but, you know, you can picture a couple eyes and a mouth. <laughs> and a little hair on the top. <laughs> This is a grassy rock. Oh, for sure I'm going to call this grassy island. Look at the grass. <laughs> nice little haircut there, rock. I like it. <laughs> wow, that's cute, eh? Yeah. It, it doesn't look so cool over this side. But I like it over from here. There, it looks like a face. <laughs> right on. Oh, wow, look at this rock here. This is cool, eh? This is a neat island. Yeah, I wonder if there's any feathers up in there. I'll have to go take a look after I circle around here. Ooh, speaking of feathers, look what I found. There's a seagull feather. Looks like a seagull feather. Yeah. Let's see that right there. Could be goose feathers. I'm thinking seagull though. All kinds of geese that come in here. I'm not sure if they lay eggs or what. They're, I think they probably lay eggs further up north, like towards Newfoundland, up in Labrador and stuff. But on their way up through here, they're all hauling here, eating and foraging and, you know, just as the ice is receding, they're all in here having snacks, having the time, having a time. <laughs> Was that Donnie Dumpy? Having a time. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! That's giant, dude! Wow! It's got a hole in it, but hey, that's beautiful. Cool! Time to get the sage out. Alright, got some buffalo sage. See? Hang on two seconds here. There's some buffalo sage right there. Mmm! 
green, usually grown in Northern California. Nice white California sage. We'll call it white California. Thank you, Great Spirit, for this shell. I will cherish this. Thank you, all my relations. Amen. Capsa. Thank you, Capsa. That is beautiful. Look at that, eh? Oh, my lens is starting to fog up. Oh, take that home. Clean it up. Be gentle with it, though, because it's probably fragile. This has got a couple cracks and a hole in it. Oh, here comes the rain again. Yep. Oh, wow. Look at this rock. Look at that rock. What's going on here? Oh, cool. Look at the quartz on that. That's like quartz on the outside. It's kind of like a... Looks like an eggshell kind of cracked, you know? Like... See all the lichens growing on it? Oh, all the green lichens? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a big eggshell. See? Wow, is that ever cool? It's got like a quartz kind of... Mm, look at that. That's so neat. Big bedrock. Big piece of bedrock. Beautiful. See? Mm, look at the eggshell rock. Oh, wow. Look at that. You can see. You can almost walk out to here, eh? You can walk out to there and then kind of... If I had my waders on, I bet I could do it. Probably get stuck in the mud, though. I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, see, I'll just come right out here in the mud, and it's kind of... Yeah, it takes my weight, but if I was to go out in too much, too much further, it would probably start sinking. Actually, yeah, it does take my weight. Ooh, no, not really. <laughs> yeah, man, pretty cool. Lots of clamshells out here. Uh-oh, now I left my footprints. That's not good. Trying to keep it natural. Oh well, I guess somebody will find out I was here. Yep. I'm sure the title will cover it over. Nobody will ever know I was here. That's the way I like it. Unless I make a deep footprint, then it's... Oh, the sign I was here kind of like the well. You're not sure. <laughs> We were here. Look at that. Giant barnacles. Oh, maybe that's lichen. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Some people don't. Not interested in that stuff. Whatever, man. Well, I think it's nice. Everything in nature is nice. See? That's all lichens growing around there. Lichens. L-I-C-H-E-N-S. Lichens. I lichens it. Yeah. Not too much to be found on the shores of this island. Well, that's okay though. Lots of cool stuff already. Mostly rocks and lichens. <gasps> oh, God love you, my friend. Well, it looks like the eagles had a time here. Yep, you know what that is. That's remains of a uh, Canada goose. One of my relations, my friend. Pepsi. See? That's what the eagles have for lunch. Yep. God love you, my friend. You poor Canada goosey. Sometimes you can hear them fighting down here. You can hear the Canada geese honking and the eagles chirping, so... That's a sign that, uh, it's lunchtime, I guess. I know, it sounds sad, but that's, that's Mother Nature, right? That's what happens. Birds of prey, they eat other birds. Anyways, uh, let's not talk about that. Oh, look at that. This is cool. These are neat. Look at this. That is a piece of seaweed. Look at it. Isn't that awesome? I think I like that. I'm going to make an offering for that, too. I got a couple of those at home. I tell you, they're really cool. Oh, I think I found a floating rock, too. Yep, there's some, uh, what do they call it? Pumice? I'll show you in a second here. It's going to get me some dirt in the dog here. Thank you for this. Please accept this stage as my offering. Thank you for your spirit. Love my relation. Come see. There we go. This looks like, yeah, that's a piece of pumice. See? That's a rock. Watch this. Let's make an offering. I'll take it over to the water and I'll show you. Thank you for this piece of pumice. Thank you for your spirit. Oh, my relation. Come say. So, 
There's a piece of pumice. You can tell you that's pumice. So let's just take it over to the water here. Ugh. This is the second piece of pumice I've found since I was in this park. It's natural volcanic rock and it floats. It is so cool. You could use it for a fishing bobber, man. Check it out. Huh. The rock and it's floating. See? See? Huh. Pretty cool, eh? Pumice. It's got all those little holes in it. That's cool, man. Nice to find. Gotta love Mother Nature, eh? She's got some nice surprises. Always full of surprises. That's why you must respect nature. All kinds of beautiful, surprising things, but then again, some of those surprising things can be your worst nightmare. Down in the States, they got those tornadoes, and the Red River flooding in Manitoba, drought in Africa, you know? You gotta be careful. That's why you gotta respect Mother Nature. Here we got hurricanes. Yeah. And there's flooding too. Nova Scotia's got flooding. All the rivers sometimes they flood. Newfoundland had huge floods. There's some more ochre. Natives use this for doing their uh, petroglyphs and painting and stuff, eh? See? They take the rocks like that and they mush it all up with other rocks. Turn it into a paint. See, there's some more right there. Pretty cool, eh? Ochre. Things all over the rocks here. I almost think they're petroglyphs or something. That's cool, eh? Yeah. Well, I got ten minutes left on this memory card and it looks like I'm almost out of time. Yeah. Head her back over to the canoe and uh I'll cut through the island here. Cut over the land. Oh look at that, there's a birch tree right in the middle. Nice little birch. Some fir trees. Maples. I don't see any eagle feathers yet. That's okay, I have some. I was destined to find some eagle feathers today. Yep. Looks like the eagles were out here though. They're eating. Something on the ground. Leftovers or something. What else? What else do we got in here? Oh my god, is that a mango? What the heck is that? It looks oh it's a nerf football. I think it is. What the heck is that? <laughs> it's a football. <laughs> I'm gonna take that home with me. That's pollution. Get that out of here. Yeah, you can tell the eagles were out here and the seagulls and they're pooping all their clamshells out. <laughs> Uh, that's Mother Nature for you. They eat what they have to when they can. Survival of the fittest. Usually the eagles are the top, top of them. Oh, looks like I'm kind of stuck in the woods. Oh, look at that. There's a rusty, a rusty tree. How's it going there, Rusty? That's not dying either. That's just rusty colored. One of those rusty spruce trees. See, the spruce trees here are green. It's a rusty one. Pretty cool, eh? Mm. Time for me to get out of here and back over to the boat. Come on, bullet shells. No more live ones? Oh, that's weird. I found a live round, eh? I'm going to have to come over here and clean all these up. Piece of glass that's busted. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Yep. Time for me to go get back to the boat. Well, looks like I'm going to have to come back with some garbage bags and clean this place up. So here we are, back on the two islands. We're finally out on the two islands, I mean. Yeah. Looks like the hurricane blew that one over. Yeah, I wonder which one that was. Juan, Bill, or maybe Earl. Yep. Anyways, time to go bail the boat out and get back in her. And, uh... Oh, there goes a kingfisher. Second time today I've seen one. Nice, beautiful. Nice. Awesome, man. Time for me to get moving back home. It's probably getting all close to seven now. What time did I say I was going to leave? Seven o'clock. Yeah, six fifty-seven. 
pretty good timing, eh? Right on. Well, thanks for watching, eh? I'll get back to you on the way back, and uh, it's been a great day. Thanks, Great Spirit. That's it. Thanks for watching, man. Cheers.